On any given day right now, nearly 7 million Americans are suffering from some form of heart failure, according to the experts. Medications can only do so much to manage the symptoms. With a story that you'll only see here tonight, J.D. Miles shares with you a revolutionary new procedure that is giving hope to those whose only option is often a heart transplant. When Krishna Ludeman entered a hospital to give birth, she never imagined how close to death she would come. Fairly close, yes. My heart was functioning at 10% when I delivered. I wasn't sure whether I was going to see my newborn. She survived but has lived the last eight years with severe heart failure. It was managed with medications and a heart transplant was being considered as a last resort. A lot of fear, anxiety. I was constantly worried that I may not make it. I spoke to my doctor and I said, I think I'm ready for a new heart. Literally this thing, and it looks like a pacemaker. What looks like a pacemaker came along just in time for the Dallas mother and millions of others suffering from heart failure. It's a new neuromodulation device that Baylor University Medical Center has implanted in nearly 30 patients with great success. And we have had uh, excellent success so far. I would say about 80% of our patients have done uh, um, that well. Immediately after, I felt good. I felt that I would wake up in the morning and just ready to take on the day again. You know, I couldn't believe it. The implant is placed in the chest near the shoulder and stimulates nerve endings in the neck to improve a heart that's failing. It's breakthrough technology that doctors here say could reduce or delay the need for heart transplants. It's absolutely promising. Baylor says it's the only hospital currently using the implants that have Ludeman, who was on the verge of a heart transplant only eight months ago, back in the gym and pushing her body to limits that were unimaginable this time last year. She may eventually need a transplanted heart, but for now she's healthy and looking forward to a long future with her son. I'm excited about life. I'm excited to travel. I'm, it's just so wonderful. I feel like my old self again. You know, this I, I feel normal. In Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS News, Texas.